What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today we're going to be talking about someone that's not having a great day but for a pretty stupid reason. Basically there's a law in Pennsylvania that uh, makes it the third time you're caught stealing something from a store it's an automatic felony. And because of that, ladies and gentlemen, there's a headline like this. Homeless Pennsylvania man faces seven years in prison over 43 cent soda theft. Yeah, that's right. Only in America could this actually be a headline. Regardless, I just felt like talking about it, so that's what we're going to do, and let's get into it. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest, dude, I usually am on the side of criminals being dumb and getting caught for stupid things, but I think someone going to jail for seven years because they stole a 43 cent soda might be a little bit too far, alright? Especially when it's a homeless man doing it, like, oh yeah, let's take him to jail, that way, you know, he's fed meals consistently and actually kept warm. But what's even more ridiculous is this is more of a misunderstanding than y'all would ever expect. He wasn't even trying to steal, like he actually tried to pay, just forgot that taxes are a thing. A homeless man faces up to seven years in prison after failing to pay 43 cents for a bottle of Mountain Dew in Pennsylvania last month. Joseph, ooh, that's the last name, 38 years old, went into a convenience store in Perry County in August to buy a bottle of soda. The advertised price of a Mountain Dew was two for three dollars, so Sobliski paid two dollars for one bottle and walked out. However, the price for a single bottle was two twenty-nine plus tax, meaning he was 43 cents short. So this dude, homeless, doesn't have a lot of money to him, comes in, puts two dollars down. Listen, should he have waited and talked to the cashier and understood he didn't give enough for taxes? Absolutely. But he did try to pay for the soda. You know what I mean? Obviously a deal is a deal, but if you do some quick math, two for three dollars works out to about a dollar fifty cents, which is why he thought two dollars was gonna be enough. Yes, I understand the sale doesn't apply to one bottle, but you're gonna send this guy to jail for seven years for like not getting the math right and understanding how the sale worked properly but still trying to pay this is clearly a misunderstanding and over 43 cents like at, at this point dude i will send 43 cents to the state of pennsylvania man you guys can keep it you know what i'll send 50 cents keep the change keep it because clearly it's worth it to you guys to like send this dude to jail for seven years instead it's gotta cost the state a crap ton more money to keep this dude locked up for seven years than it would be to, like, not do this, right? I mean, I don't know how much states pay to, like, keep a prisoner in a system every day, but it's gotta be more than 43 cents, I'm guessing. Nope, lock him up, throw away the key. The publication added that the store called the police on him, who was arrested and charged with a felony under the state's three strikes law for retail theft. He had been convicted more than a decade ago for theft in 2011 for stealing a pair of shoes. The law doesn't take into account the value of an item in the third theft charge. All right, obviously you shouldn't steal things. I've come out, I've said that before on the channel, and I'm not gonna sit here and defend Jacob. If you stole stuff before, you, you shouldn't have. However, that being said, I don't think he was trying to steal something in this particular instance. Obviously, I'm not gonna defend him for stealing shoes or whatever the theft thing was a decade ago, you know, it was wrong. But I feel like maybe the third strike should have to have a limit of a, a dollar amount or like not doing it on accident. I feel like that's kind of important, you know. I, I get the three strike system was intended to like keep dangerous people off our streets that clearly aren't gonna learn their lesson. But I think that maybe applies more to people that, like, rob a bank three times, you know? Like, if you rob a bank three different times, it's like, all right, bro, you, you clearly just don't know how to play by the rules. I don't think getting your math wrong and leaving $2 instead of $2.43 is the exact same thing as, like, the third strike. Maybe that's just me, dude. It's just, it's also, it's gotta be more expensive to keep them in jail, right? Even if at this point the charges get dropped, which they probably will because this is ridiculous, I don't see a judge sending this guy to seven or to jail for seven years for this. They've still been housing him in jail the entire time, which costs taxpayer dollars. And even then, bro, like, it's a homeless dude. What, what is the point of putting him in jail? Like, if anything, it's better than the alternative. Uh, clearly, clearly, if he wanted to steal, he would have just stolen it. Like, he's a homeless dude. He put the $2 down. That's probably what he had. He just wanted a Mountain Dew. If he wanted to just take a soda, he would have just taken it. Like, obviously, he was trying to do the right thing here. 
A criminal docket shows that he was arrested and as he awaited trial was stuck there because he was unable to pay a $50,000 cash bond. The bond was later modified to be unsecured after an appeal by his public defender, meaning he was able to be released without giving money to the court, although the amount remained the same. It's noted it's unclear if the charge will hold because the law requires proof that the theft was an intentional crime rather than a misunderstanding over the full value of an item. All right, so there it is. Like I said, I highly doubt that anyone's going to actually send him to jail for this, but the fact that he was stuck in jail the entire time, like still there awaiting trial for a while, is, is insane to me over this. Especially the $50,000 bond. Like, that's just a cruel joke, bro. Life's already kind of down on your luck. Things aren't working out for you. You're homeless, so you, you don't have $50,000. You get arrested over a 43 cent charge for like a Mountain Dew and they sit you down and they're like, you're not getting out of here until you give us 50 grand. That's life's just playing a cruel joke at you at that point. You have to laugh or cry at that. And, and I'm going to assume that like crying's not the most fun option. That is literally horrible, dude. The fact that they would charge a homeless guy $50,000 to get out of jail is horrible. It's not funny. It just sounds like something that's not real. That's why I'm laughing at it. Like, doesn't this sound like something that you would see in a parody of something? Like, oh, we arrested this homeless man, charge him 50 grand. It makes so little sense it feels like it would be in a comedy movie, but nah, this is reality, bro. And listen, I'm not saying Jacob's made fantastic life choices. Those other two theft charges aren't great. But clearly, homie is down on his luck and does not have $50,000. Under the three strike law, a first retail theft offense is a summary akin to a speeding ticket, a second offense is a misdemeanor, and everything after that is classified as a third degree felony. Pennsylvania, the Sentinel newspaper, noted that other third degree felonies include involuntary manslaughter, essay, and carrying a gun without a license. All those horrible crimes and stealing 43 cents worth of soda added onto the list, dude. Like, I, I understand why we have stuff like that, I get it, but this is just what situation why the law shouldn't just be black and white applied to literally every situation the same way. We've got to have the ability to look at stuff case to case and be like, ah, okay, yes, sure, he did steal something for the third time, but this just isn't the same thing as, you know, a straight up theft. I feel like sometimes we just take too many laws, apply it to everything the exact same way, when the truth is every situation's a little bit different, and holding a homeless guy on a $50,000 bond for a 43 cent soda is just ridiculous. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I'm, I'm sorry if this wasn't as fun. I just felt like talking about it because I just thought it was ridiculous, man. If you enjoyed, be sure to press the like button and comment down below what you thought. And if you're new, subscribe and turn on those notifications. If you really want to help me out, a link to the uh, intro song can be found down below along with a link to my podcast. If you want to help me out further, you can use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout. That's another great way to help me out or check out the merch link down below. As for Mr. Jacob, as the article said, the charges should get dropped because I, I just don't think he's going to go to jail for it. But it still is ridiculous either way, and I wish him the best. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that'll do it. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.